Nigel, that looked like a good afternoon's work. Yeah, it was. Uh, a little step up from obviously from Tuesday. Uh, a little bit more intensity. The lads have had a tough week of training. Uh, so it was good to finish off with good 45 minutes work today. Especially in that second half, would you say? Yeah, well, it depends on you know what changes they make. We try and split the team reasonably evenly uh, so we get uh, you know the same first half and second half and uh, sometimes you tie them down a little bit like the other day the team in the first half and then you get your rewards in the second half but uh, I think overall the squad of whatever 20 played um, it, it did look pretty even some good stuff. Any performers and performances in particular stand out for you? No not at this stage uh, nice for Jakob to get a goal uh, you know, coming on for half an hour. Uh, but no, uh, I think we're, we're all at a stage where you can see we've got three weeks' work to sharpen up. Yeah, good for Jakub Krasinski. And he could have had a second, couldn't he? Yeah, he could, yeah. Very, very close to it. And, uh, you know, we could have had a, a couple more goals today. Uh, their goal, he made a couple of good saves and just the one skirmish at the end, I think, with the free kick. Is he, Krasinski, one likely to be perhaps more involved next season now? Well, it depends on injuries and numbers. You know, we've got this group of uh, under-19s with five or six lads. Taylor Anderson was on the bench, McKeel was. Uh, so if we need them, we'll, we'll dip into that, into that squad. As importantly as the minutes in the legs and the performance in parts is the uh, fitness status of the squad, of course, in pre-season. Are you unscathed? Yes, after today, hopefully. Uh, Callum Johnson just took, there's only one daft tackle in the game, took a whack on his ankle, but I think he's OK. Uh, so everyone should be all right. And we're looking forward to hopefully Ollie Clark training towards the end of the week. Yeah, he uh, he watched this one from the dugout, didn't he? Yeah, him and uh, Steve McLaughlin. Uh, but I think he'll be doing a bit more watching for the next couple of months. Uh, no Brennan Dickinson in the squad? No, no, Brennan just came in for 10 days training and everything, uh, you know, just to, to help him along with his fitness as a favour. Elsewhere, just to get the very latest from you, what's the uh, latest in the search for that missing piece of the jigsaw, that defender? I think we're pretty close. Uh, I think we're close to agreeing something in principle. Uh, so hopefully on Monday, uh, hopefully even in time to get to Scotland with us, uh, we, we, we'll, we'll have one in. What type of... Sorry. Centre-half, uh, covers at full-back as well, but primarily centre-half. What type of deal is it, can you say? Is it a loan? Is it a free transfer? Is it a no, permanent transfer? Yeah, permanent transfer, which will mean that at the moment we haven't got any loans, uh, which is good. They're all on permanence, all committed. Uh, so it's a good position. And you uh, you said there, did you, you're hoping to getting up to Scotland on Monday? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, he'll have his medical on Monday morning. Uh, if everything just gets uh, uh, agreed over the weekend and confirmed, uh, medical Monday morning, bit of training, uh, and then on the bus with everybody on Monday afternoon. That'd be good, wouldn't it, to get the, the full squad up in Scotland in the uh, in the pre-season week up there? Yeah, just the two will leave at home, uh, Elliot Hewitt and Steve McLaughlin, to do the work back here uh, with the rehab stuff and the, uh, and the medical. So uh, apart from that, everybody will be uh, making the trip. Thank you. Thank you.